Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and this is Budgets by Alex. And today we are cash stuffing $833 and this is going to cover March 6th through March 12th. So let's get started with my variable cash envelopes. I do have some money left over which I'm going to roll over to my emergency fund. So entertainment had one, two, three, four. Groceries had uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. Gas had money left over. It had 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. So I actually have quite a bit to roll over to my emergency fund, which is nice. A miscellaneous, I won't unstuff or roll this over until the first stuffing of the next month because this has to last me the, the full month. They're only stuffed at once. And then I do have a um, dollar left over in my cat envelope. So I'm just gonna roll this over now because I am not gonna find anything for a dollar and they have everything they need. So uh, that's also going to get rolled over into their future vet appointment envelope. For emergency fund, like the rollover, I'm gonna have 20, 30, oops. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45 to roll over to my emergency fund, and then a dollar to roll over to my future vet appointments for my cats. I'm just gonna set that over here in case they decide to jump up here and mess with it because they tend to do that at least once. I don't know, they're both sleeping right now, so maybe they'll stay asleep. Um, but entertainment and groceries are the only two envelopes getting stuffed this week. Um, I just filled up my gas tank, which is why I have leftover money. I just filled it up yesterday and that should last me until I have to uh, stuff my gas envelope again. Entertainment is going to be getting $50. And if you wanna see what I did over the long, or not over the long weekend, but over the weekend, you can check out my latest vlog video and I will link that. It actually will go up on Wednesday, but I will link my previous video up in the top corner and then in the description below. So entertainment now has 50. And then groceries is going to get 60. So that is it for my variable cash envelopes. Okay, so let's stuff my bills. Sorry, my cat was like, she's right here and she's messing with all my stuff like usual. <laughs> but up first is my life insurance. I'm gonna shove this over here. And that is going to be getting two. So life insurance only has two. Up next is CenturyLink, which is my internet, and that is going to be getting 17, 10, 15, 16, 17. So CenturyLink now has 20, 30, oops, 40, 45, is that right? I feel like I messed that up. 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51 for my internet. My water bill is going to be getting 35. I upped my water bill budget just because it was more than it has been in the past. So I'd rather just have a cushion in that account than not have enough. So it's going to be getting 35. My water has 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 1, 2, 3. Hera, what are you doing? Your tail is in my face. They can't see your tail, but I can see your tail. And now you're sitting right on my cheat sheet. So excuse me. Excuse me, scoot your boot. Um, my mortgage is gonna be getting 319. One, two, three, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And that's why I put the money there because if I put it here, she would have messed it up already. <laughs> Hope everyone had a good weekend. We actually kind of did a lot, sort of like in the evenings, um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So during the day was nice because we kind of just chilled during the day. But in the evenings, we um, did a lot of fun stuff this weekend. So it was my brother-in-law's birthday on Saturday. So we went out and celebrated his birthday. And then last night, I feel like it's been one long month of like February birthdays, even though it's like March now. But like my aunt took um, my husband and I to dinner for my husband's birthday last night. Um, and it was actually a really good place. But my mortgage, oops, now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 920, 930, 940, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 947 in mortgage. My Peloton is getting, let's see, three. One, two, three. So now my Peloton has five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And I just have the app. I've mentioned this before, but all I have is a Peloton app. I do not have like a true Peloton bike. I 
just got like a different like exercise bike that is way cheaper. And then I just use the app and the app's only 13 bucks a month, which is like more than worth it. Uh, I use it pretty much every day and I love all the classes. I love the instructors. So I definitely recommend getting that, especially if you don't like going to a gym, which I do not like going to a gym and you have the space. All you really need is like, they have a lot of body weight classes, but even if you have like some dumbbells, there's a ton of classes you can do just with dumbbells. So I highly recommend the Peloton app. I really do enjoy it and um, I use it a lot. My student loan is getting 152. So now my student loan has one, two, three, four, 450, 450, one, two, three, four, five, six. So 456 for my student loan. The Ryzen is going to be getting 19, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. The Ryzen now has 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57 for Verizon. My Spotify is getting three. One, two, three. So now Spotify has one, two, three, four, five, and six. We are doing this little mini savings challenge and we are coloring little 40. So I feel like it I messed it up by starting with pink and I feel like my colors like are too close to each other. All right, so $40 into this challenge. So one, two. So now this little mini savings challenge has 50, 70, 90, 110, 101, 102. And when I'm done with this, this money is just gonna go into emer my emergency fund to help build that back up since I did have to drain it about a month ago which sucked. My 100 envelope challenge, I'm not stuffing this week. I should be able to stuff a number next week though. Before I was wanting, before I drained my um, emergency fund, I was wanting to like take over rollover money from my variable envelope to also stuff this, but plans have changed, so I'm not doing that. So, but I should be able to, I said, stuff this uh, next week, which will be good. So that's it for my bills and my one savings challenge. So anniversary is not getting anything. Annual fees for my cards are, that's getting three. So now it has uh, 50, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84 for my credit card annual fees. Car insurance is gonna be getting 30, 20, 30. So now car insurance has 20, 40, 50, and 60. Car maintenance, and I actually scheduled my um, next routine of maintenance or round of maintenance uh, for like the middle end-ish of this month. So um, I should have enough for like, just like the basic, like my, I don't know, what am I at? Like 65,000 miles? So I should have enough in here for that, but I am still continuing to stuff this. So my car maintenance is going to be getting 15. So now it has 100, 2, 3, 4, 450, 470, 480, 485, 490, 491 for car maintenance. And then my tags do expire this year in July, so I'll have to get my um, tags renewed by the end of July. Christmas is getting 25. So Christmas now has one. Two, three, four, five, 520, 540, 550 for Christmas. My emergency fund is going to get this rollover money, plus I'm going to be giving it 25. All right, here's my 10,000 I'm setting aside. So I know the Supreme Court like heard arguments last week. I literally don't, I don't know. I mean, I deep down, I do know that I'm gonna have to give it back, but like, I'm just holding on to the small glimmer of hope that I get to keep this. So I keep, I've mentioned it every video, but like, it would just be so nice just to be able to keep this. Like, I'm sure if you were in the same boat, like if you like paid your federal loans off during the forbearance or like you just will be able to get them forgiven, just like that weight lifted of just that extra 10,000 is just, it's so nice. And I, I just hope I get to keep it. But like I said, deep down, I, I know that I'm not going to be able to, and it's so sad. It's so, so sad. Cause it's like, it's so close cause it's in my account, but it's so far away because I know I'm gonna have to give it back. My emergency fund now has 
one, two, so 2,000, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, twenty, six, forty, six, sixty, six, seventy, six, eighty, six, ninety, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, seven hundred, one, two, three. So 2,703 in my emergency fund. I think this is gonna be a little too big and fat for this one. I'm gonna have to condense this down. I usually like condense my stuff off camera because I condense it after every stuffing because I use prop money. And so like my ones, I, ha I only have like a limited number of each denomination. So I off camera will condense everything down because that's really fat and that's gonna break this envelope, I feel like. So gotta do that off camera. Um, my kitty emergency fund, they are going to be getting 10. Oops, I forgot one. So I'm gonna just shove this one back there. So I think I have 2,703 or 2,704, something like that. So I'm just gonna show that back there. Um, but my cats are gonna be getting 10. They have 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 10, 6, 11, 6, 12. So 1,612 in their emergency fund. And then this is their $1 rollover for their future vet appointments. So now in this envelope, they have 50, 70, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. Month ahead is getting skipped. Beauty is getting 25, and I think this is the last envelope that I am stuffing. So Beauty now has 1, 2, 3, 350, 370, 380, 385, 390, 391, 392 for Beauty. All right, if you want to stick around just a little bit further, you can see me transfer money over from my checking account into the Ally Sinking Funds that I did stuff. And also, please don't forget that I do have a vlog channel. So if you want to comment, like, and subscribe on my budgeting channel and my vlog channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, bye.